bring you this story now, which is quite encouraging, really. Few disagreed when President Soro Maposa called gender-based violence an epidemic. The statistics released earlier this year revealed over 11,000 rape cases reported between October and the end of December 2021. Now, despite this figure being lower than the previous reporting period, more can be done to raise awareness. And so we've got Dr. Donnie Fick um, and Tom Savage, who've taken a stand against this plague. Uh, both gentlemen join us now. Uh, Donnie, Tom, thank you very, very much for your time this morning. And I said in my intro, this is quite encouraging because we always make a noise about more men getting involved in fighting the scourge that we are currently in, uh, which is gender-based violence. Uh, so um, uh, initiatives like yours are quite encouraging. Uh, just explain what it is uh, that you're actually doing to raise the alarm uh, on the scourge in the country. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for having us and listening to us. So we've partnered up with the Jess Ford Foundation that had this initiative to run four kilometers every four hours for 48 hours to raise funds and awareness for, for rape victims and to allow people that have experienced this awful crime have the opportunity to go for counseling, go for therapy, and have the funds and the finances to pull that off. So we decided, Tom and I, a very spur of the moment thing that we will run through the night. Every four hours we'll run these four kilometers. But as you said earlier, it's important for men to put their hands up and say, we as men need to do better. And we've taken ourselves to very uncomfortable physical places in the last few days. But I feel like we have to have these uncomfortable conversations saying like, it starts with us, it starts with men, and we need to definitely do better. No, absolutely. Tom, what is the significance of uh, running four kilometers every four hours? Is this a specific reason uh, that you chose to do uh, this initiative this way? Uh, so it was actually, uh, the initiative was set out by the Jess Food uh, Foundation. And I think it's designed to uh, challenge you physically and mentally and, and to, to really give you something to push yourself to raise awareness beyond just uh, saying you know, I stand against uh, rape or um, really giving something back or showing that we want to take on a challenge to bring people in and to give longevity to the awareness and raising awareness. No, absolutely. I mean, Donnie, this is absolutely important. You raised a very important point in your earlier answer about raising funds, because a lot of the time, women who are violated across the country don't have access to health care, let alone the mental uh, health care resources that they would need after going through such an experience. And this is why we've decided to partner with this foundation, to provide access for these women. Yes, Unfortunately, they can't help everyone, but I feel the people that they do help makes a huge, huge difference. It, it's true what you said earlier. It's an epidemic. It's a pandemic. It's something that happens on a daily basis, and we're often not aware of these things. We live in our bubbles, and life goes on okay, but we don't know that so many women are exposed to sexual abuse, physical violence at the hands of men, and we as men need to really, really do better. No, absolutely. And Tom, uh, with that, how important will it be for you guys to try and get as many uh, uh, people on board with this initiative uh, to increase uh, that awareness raising and just to ensure uh, that longevity of this particular uh, uh, awareness of this problem, like you mentioned? Yeah, I think it's uh, very important to bring as many people um, in as we can and to raise as much awareness as we can. And I think, uh, you know, like Donnie was saying about men doing more to, uh, to understand better, it, it's important that it starts with us. And if we can uh, raise more awareness, it can only be the, the building blocks or the stepping stones to creating, um, it, like or preventing these things from happening in the future or happening uh, more often. No, absolutely. And of course, uh, Johnny, partnerships quite important. I did see uh, that uh, Bands Out as an example um, is part of the initiative. Now, uh, partnerships, more of them, perhaps even government stakeholders, how important will this be? Very important. First of all, I want to say thank you to all our friends who came and ran with us at midnight for two nights on a Saturday and a Sunday. And some people that I've never even met before have come and joined us on this, these runs. And you're right, those are the little links. They build and build. And the more links we put together, 
the better the chain becomes. And you're right. If big corporates, bigger people with more influence, more money, more finances get involved, we can only make this a better place and a safer place for women. And I think running is important because so many women want to run by themselves, but are too scared. Like a single woman running alone in Joburg, you have this fear of, is something going to happen to me? Am I going to get raped? Am I going to get assaulted? And if we can just build a community where women feel safer, I think that that, that would be incredible. It would be incredible indeed. Gentlemen, really commendable initiative that you um, and those that have chosen to partner with you all are undertaking there. Um, uh, Dr. Donnie Fick as well as uh, Tom Savage uh, running for four kilometers every four hours from midnight. Um, uh, they started, you just uh, heard they, um, and uh, they'll continue and hopefully get other people to come on board to raise awareness on the gender-based violence scourge in South Africa. And, of course, initiatives like this will allow women across the country to have access to all important resources uh, should they be violated. Uh